on what looked to be a wicket chock full of runs. We pick up the action in the early stages of the Zimbabwe innings. Lovely shot, or almost caught in fact, by the square leg umpire in the first boundary of the day. The pillar hasn't had a great start to the match so far, but here he goes again. Bowling to James. Oh, that's cleanly struck by Kevin James. That's a lovely shot. Just eluded the bowler. The seventh of the innings. Bowling to James. So, oh, and he's got a little edge this time. The first wicket is down. Ramodja strikes in his first over. The keeper takes the catch to the Karatni. And a good little innings from James is over. He's out for 17. Well, it was a shortish ball outside the off stump. And uh, James just gave a little nudge. And uh, Tilla Karatni leaping away to take the catch. And so Zimbabwe lose their first wicket at 30. James out for 17. 45 for the loss of one. Gurusinga to Flower. That's nicely cut away to the fence. That's a good shot by Andy Flower. His first boundary has taken a while to come. But a decisive stroke by Flower. So it's 49 for one now in the 12th over. Flower is on 15, facing Kramodja. And that's a gift, really. Too short. And Andy Flower is able to cash in. That's a nice shot. Four more. Good singer to Pycroft. And he's going to be caught. He is caught. That's not a good shot at all by Andy Pycroft. But it's straight down to mid-on. And he is dismissed for five. And Sri Lanka have gained the second Zimbabwe wicket. 57 for two in the 14th over. And you can see hit rather across the line here. Dragged it away from near the off stump. And a simple catch down to mid-on. So Pycroft goes for five. And Zimbabwe 57 for two in the 14th over. Over number 20 about to start. Good a singer. Bowling to Houghton. On a ledge. He's on his way. Just fiddled with it, and Ashan Tillakaratni takes his second catch. Howden is out for 10. It's 82 for 3 at the start of the 20th over. Well, you can see it was rather a poor shot by Houghton. A real one-day affair. Tried to nudge it down towards third man. Just got the little edge, and a delighted wicketkeeper, Tillakaratni, takes the catch, and it's 82 for 3. Jaya Saraya. Bowling to Arnott. Nice looking shot from Arnott. Might get four here. And he does get four. 24th over of the innings. 100 exactly for three. And this has been hit very fine. This could go down to the fence. And it will do, in fact. Four runs for Andy Flower. Not a good ball from Jaya Soraya. So Flower is 44 at the end of 24 overs. 104 for three. 27th over now. Kelpa Gay to Arnott. Oh, beaten by the spin on the ball, I guess. And Arnott has another boundary. It looked like it was going to be fielded. But in fact, Arnott takes another four to go to 19. It's 116 for three. Andy Flower on 49. The left-handed opening batsman has played well. Facing Capilla. And calling for the single. And he gets home too. And that's 50 for Andy Flower. Well batted as the Sri Lanka... At least Zimbabwe go to 128 for three in the 29th over. And a good partnership this between these two players. Kalpagay again to Arnott. He swings it away. And that's four runs and that's 50 for Kevin Arnott. Very good innings indeed from him. It's now 164. In fact, the umpire's changed it to a six. It's still 50, but he goes to 52 instead. 37th over, 167 runs on the board. And Arnott is beautifully caught. A third catch for Tilla Karatni. The end of a very good innings from Kevin Arnott. Out for 52. And it's now 167 for four. Well, he chased a wide one this time, Arnott. And once again, Tilla Karatni leaping across and taking in a very good catch indeed. And the end of Kevin Arnott out for 52. 180. For the loss of four. Kapila bowling to Waller, and he gives that plenty. That's a good shot. First boundary for quite a long time, and Waller slams it away for four. Andy Waller looks pretty keen to get on with it. Missing from Roger, and bang, away it goes in the air again, and over the head of Rotatonga, and down to the fence for four more. Good healthy blow by Andy Waller. 
Lamanaika now bowling to Walla. Already on 18, Andy Walla. Put it high in the air. He'll get away with this, and it'll be four runs. 216 for four. Ramanayaka to Walla. Hammers another one away. Four more. Another boundary for Andy Walla. Anything could happen here. Walla is after everything. Another big hit down three long on. Four more. Third boundary in the over for Andy Walla. Mostly picked up this time by Flower, and he's got it wide of the fieldsman. Four more. 91 not out, Andy Flower. Well, it cracks it away into the offside. Past one player, and through to the fence for four more. Ninety-nine not out then, Andy Flower, facing Ramanayaka. Field closing in, and there it is. There's the hundred for Andy Flower. Well deserved too. He really has set up this big Zimbabwe total. A marvellous innings from him. Andy Waller has slammed 49 off just 30 deliveries. Facing from Odia, and away he goes again. There's the 50. Very good innings indeed from Waller. Came at the right time for Zimbabwe. So Waller gets the 50. Got a singer to Waller. Oh, that's a huge hit. Goodness me, that's way into the trees. A big six from Andy Waller. Got it away, very fine, four more. Four more to flower. 115 no outs. Last over now, Capilla to Waller, and that's gonna be another one. In some other lake, probably. Way under the trees. Dreadful delivery, six more to Andy Waller. 300 up in the last over. 301 for four. Waller goes again. This time it's on the offside. He could be caught. And he hasn't been caught. Dropped. Nothing going right for the Sri Lankans. And Waller gets two more. Incredible batting display by Zimbabwe. Waller faces again. And bowled by an O-ball. So it's not out. Three hundred and four for four. In the last over. The pillar to Waller. Goodness me, Steve Woodwell was in grave danger there, four more. So a fantastic batting display by Zimbabwe, highlighted by that century from Andy Flower, the opening batsman. And he was destined to spend the whole day on the field because he's the wicketkeeper for Zimbabwe. And that magnificent hard-hitting 80-odd from Andy Waller towards the end. So they finished up at 312 after the 50 overs. And so Sri Lanka needed to score 313 to win the game. A huge task under any circumstances. We pick up the action as Sri Lanka chase those 313 in the early stages of their innings. And it's uh, Dewar's bowling to Summer Sacra. Oh, he's pulled it away. Good shot. Rather got under it, but it might just have enough on it to get to the fence. And yes, it does. So the first boundary of the innings is taken by Summer Sacra from a short ball bowled by Dewar's. Seven runs on the board, third over. Jarvis, thumped by Samosaka and almost a catch, but he really gave that plenty, and that's four more to Samosaka. He's eight, it's 11 without loss. Jarvis the bowler, nice shot from Mahanama. This is lovely timing from him out through mid-wicket, and Mahanama picks up his first boundary. So Mahanama at nine, it's 18 without loss in the fifth. Sri Lanka 20 without loss after five overs, the start of the sixth now. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Samasekara. A straight hit straight back past Dewars. And that's a third boundary for Samasekara. Kevin Dewars, the bowler. Oh, a lovely shot again. Beautiful on drive by Samasekara. He really is getting into it here. 18 not out. It's 28 without loss in the sixth. 
Pulled away again. There's another boundary. Third in the over from Osama Sakura. Really taking the Jewers. And he goes to 22. Brandes to Osama Sakura. Ran a lovely shot through the covers again. Beautiful time. Four more. 50 runs up already in the ninth over. Brandes to Osama Sakura. And away he goes again. And this one bounces once. That's four more. Osama Sakura races to 40. 55 without loss in the ninth over. Brandes to Osama Sakura. Thumps it away. What a shot. That's his ninth boundary as he races to 45 not out. It's 61 without loss at the end of nine. Dewars bowling to Summer Sakura. Back he goes and slams another four. He's 49 now. That's his tenth boundary. Summer Sakura goes again over the top. Lovely shot again. He's a magnificent four. That's his eleventh boundary. goes now to 55. 76 without loss. Marvel start by Sri Lanka. That's a beautiful shot by Mahanama. He's been rather the junior partner in this partnership, but that's a lovely shot. Mahanama's 25, facing Malcolm Jarvis. Oh, three mid-wicket. Another boundary coming up here. Second in the over. Lovely shot, Mahanama. He's 29. It's 84 without loss in the 13th. Butchart now bowling to Summer Sakura. Oh, and that's another lovely off drive. Fieldsman coming round, but he won't make it. Another four for Summer Sakura. He goes to 67, his 12th boundary. Right close to Summer Sakura, and he's put this one in the air, and he could be out, and he is out. Held by Kevin Dewars. Summer Sakura goes for 75. It's 128 for one in the 22nd over. Driven and caught. Good catch taken by Tricos. And that is the end of Mahanama. Out for 61. It's 144 for two in the 28th over. Big hit from Aravinda this time. He's already lashed out at it. And he might get his first boundary here. The ball's struggling and it makes it. So four runs to Aravinda de Silva. Oh, Gurusinger will have to get back. He won't get back. He's run out. Gurusinger has run out. Sent back by Aravinda. And that's a big breakthrough for Zimbabwe. The third wicket falls at 155 in the 30th. And you'll see that Gurusinger was a little uncertain. Take it on the pad. He came down. Aravinda sent him back. And he had no hope at all and well and truly run out. So good a singer departs for five. My cost to the left hand of Rotatunga. And one bounce. Oh, beaten by the bounce. The fieldsman back with a square gets done by the spin on the ball, Jarvis. And four runs to Rotatunga. Brandes in the 33rd over to Aravinda. Well, he's lofted this one. He should be caught, and he is. An absolute gift down to mid on, gratefully accepted. And Aravinda goes, and uh, Sri Lanka in real trouble now. Their best batsman is out for just 13. Well, it wasn't a great delivery from the bowler Brandes. Aravinda completely mistimed it, and uh, the simple catch is accepted. Aravinda has gone for 13. It's 169 for four in the 33rd. Soraya on seven. Oh, he's got a hold of this one. That'll be six. Well and truly. Good hit by Jaya Soraya. Well, that's no doubt about that. That's slapped away. Bad ball from Brandes. And Jaya Soraya makes no mistake. He goes to 18. Oh, that's a huge hit by Rodakoni. In fact, it's uh, Jaya Soraya. What a big hit. Second six. And he's lifted that one way into the trees. High in the air now. Should be caught here. The keeper flowers after it. And he holds it. Jaya Saria goes. Good work by wicketkeeper Flower. 
And the change of bowling did the trick. The captain takes the wicket. And it's five wickets down now for Sri Lanka. Jayasriya trying to force the pace. He got under it. It was a long wait for the keeper. He had a lot of ground to make, but safely held. And that's the end of Jayasriya. 2.21 for five, starting the 40. First over, and it's a full toss. And it's going to be a boundary for Ranatonga. Pretty ordinary delivery from David Houghton. And Ranatonga has smacked it away through square leg for four. to Ranatunga, he likes to swing it away on the leg side, and I think he's going to beat the down there, is he? Yes, he is. Four more, two consecutive boundaries from Ranatunga. And he rushes on to 36, it's 2.29 for five. Ranatunga's put this one through the gap, that's heading out for another four, the third boundary in the over. Houghton's over is proving very expensive indeed. And Ranatunga now to... 41. Tilakaradni facing Jarvis this time. Goes for a big hit. And oh, he's got over that one. That's way up on the terraces for six runs. That's a great shot over the offside for six runs. Oh, big hit. Another huge hit by Ranatunga. That's another six. Sri Lanka really coming back into this game now. Bowled him. Tilakaratni is bowled at the most opportune time for Zimbabwe. Good delivery that time from Jarvis. Tilakaratni tried to run it down through the slips and it caught the top of the middle stump and that's the end of Tilakaratni for 18. So 273 for 6 at the end of 45. Butchart to Kalpagay. Charging down. Oh, good hit. Straight back over the bowler's head for four runs. A timely blow by Kalpagay. The start of the 49th over now. Brandis bowling to Ranatunga. 15 required. Ranatunga's got this one down very fine. And it's gone to the fence. Well, that's a real blow for the Zimbabwe side. And a good one for Sri Lanka. They need only 11 runs now off 11 deliveries. A real cliffhanger here in New Plymouth. Brandis bowling to Ranatunga. Oh, he's edged that he could get another four. He will get another four. Two consecutive fours just past the keeper. And now just seven required off 10 deliveries. Sri Lanka were faltering at various times. But a mighty hand being played by Ranatunga, who's at the non strikers end. Brandis to Kalpagay, hits it high, could get caught, and has been caught. Well, it might be rather too late for Zimbabwe, but that's the end of Kalpagay. He goes just four runs short of victory, and it's 309 for seven, and one over to go. So well over 600 runs scored in the day's play. And it's come right down to the very last over of the day. Jarvis will be bowling to Ranatunga, who's been quite magnificent for Sri Lanka today. He's 82 not out. He came in when the innings was faltering. And the former captain has really put it together. Now Jarvis. Ranatunga working it away. Could go to the boundary. It's going to be a bit of a scramble. And it does go to the boundary, and Sri Lanka get the victory in the very last over as Ranatunga fires his bat high in the air, then runs from the field. The schoolboys are everywhere, and Sri Lanka have done it in the very last over in a thrilling game here at Bukikura Park. Scenes of great excitement, but what a game of cricket. And uh, these two sides have done themselves proud in the opening match for them of the 1992 World Cup. So what a fantastic game of cricket. Over 600 runs scored in the day's play. And in the end, Sri Lanka getting there in the very last over by three wickets and deserved winners of this game. After the match, I spoke with their captain, Aravinda De Silva. Actually, after, especially after the first inning, uh, once they got up to 312, it was always going to be difficult for us to get up to that total. Uh, but fortunately, we got out to a brilliant start. Now, what was the reasoning behind sending Sri Lanka, and at least uh, Zimbabwe, into bat first? Actually, we were. What we thought was that uh, 
uh, if our bowlers are bowling pretty well up till that stage and uh, we thought we might be able to contain them for about 225 and uh, then probably from there it wouldn't have been much of a problem on this wicket uh, so that was the idea behind it but uh, uh, it was totally different once we put them in the bowlers didn't bowl well at all they bowl uh, uh, all over the show and uh, bowl too many no balls and whites as well so we've got to tighten up our bowling if we are to stand a chance in this, in this competition. Nevertheless, you'd have to be pleased with the way the batting was the openers. They really got away to a good start. Yes, they did. Actually, batting was the problem before we arrived here. Uh, but now I could see the batsmen uh, booming with confidence, uh, especially batting on good wickets. And uh, it is uh, heartening to see uh, them batting well. So how confident are you now going into the game against New Zealand and Hamilton? We are uh, pretty confident, uh, it's just that we have to get our bowling together and uh, we probably will give them a good run. Correct.